really really happy to to, to start the next uh, module that is ideal final results the concept that is i think the most powerful the most interesting and the nicest concept of trees ideal system is no system but the function is insured ideally the product appears itself when it is necessary and where it is necessary what is what is behind this definition uh, it helps you to tell apart bad design from good design if you believe in trees namely if you have a kind of complicated system and a simpler system it would help you to to choose a better one it prevents you from thinking inertia because uh, I think if you ask most of people what is ideal car, what is ideal lecture, they will come up with a kind of specification what they are. Well, ideal car it could be like Ferrari and costs uh, would be very low or it would be economical car. Ideal lecture would be you know, just somebody who speaks many languages and logical and, uh, and so on. But in all these cases, you first you will, you will deliver a kind of image of the system from your memory, not from your thinking. So it prevents you from this because it forces you to think from the stretch. It forces you to think about the function, not, not the design, not the material object, but about the function. Ideally, you find a way to ensure the function while the system is not existing. If the system is not existing, there are no contradictions, whereas cost is equal to zero, doesn't need maintenance, of course, sounds like ideal system. These are things that make ideal final result concept really central in trees. Let me, let me speculate on the history of this concept. Also, it looks like it appeared from nowhere. Just Al Schuller introduced this concept. It was, really, it was like brand new. I would say that some roots of ideal final result could be found again in ancient China. So my favorite uh, Chinese ancient philosopher Lao Tzu introduced a concept of a kind of paradoxical concept of ideal ruler. At that time, this discussion was pretty popular. So a lot of beautiful minds discussed it. What does it mean to be a good ruler? And his opponent, uh, Confucius, made a kind of specification. So ideal ruler has to be good at swording, very good at writing flowers, uh, so uh, 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 drawing flowers, very good at uh, writing poems, and so on, and so on, and so on. And uh, Lao Tzu made a kind of paradoxical definition. He said, ideally, people just know that the ruler exists somewhere, but everything is good in the state, everything is, uh, the order is perfect, there is no crime, and uh, everyone is wealthy, and so on, and so on. So, if you reformulate it in a way, you would say, ideal ruler is no ruler, but everything is fine, the order is in the state. There is no need for ruler at all. Okay, so uh, Al Schuller somehow managed to, let's say, to convert or to interpret this definition uh, or this concept uh, for for technical system, and his reformulation was pretty straightforward. Ideal system is no system, but its function is is ensured. So it was forced to think about the function of element, not the element itself, or the function of ruler, not. Ele not let's say not the the position or status or, or or features of ruler that was a history i think of ideal final results that could be found even in ancient china then i would like to describe links of the concept of ideal final result to other part of trees and some tools some tools that i use outside of trees let me start from internal links or internal bridges of the concept of ideal final result. As I said from the very beginning, the concept is so fundamental that I would say it could, it could be found almost in each chapter of trees. Uh, the strongest link definitely would be the trend of uh, ideality increase from uh, the chapter of uh, um, trends of technical system evolution. So it is believed that at, as system evolves, it becomes more and more and more ideal. So ultimate ideality would be no system, but its function is ensured. This is like my watch that doesn't exist, but I know the time because it's integrated in my smartphone. Uh, another link could be easily given to uh, contradiction concept. It is also believed that uh, getting rid of contradiction, killing one contradiction to, uh, after another, the system <coughs> becoming better and better. So it evolves. So in, uh, in, in the situation of idle technical system, when there is no system, there are no contradictions in it. So killing contradictions, we approach in ideality. Another link, another link could be given to a trimming, trimming uh, approach. When we have a functional model, 
And when we try to get rid of one element uh, of the another making system simpler or cheaper, then if we trim everything, definitely we should arrive at uh, the, uh, the, the ideal final result. When there is no system, everything has been trimmed, but its function is ensured. The function is ensured in such a way that super system treats itself or the function is delegated to another system and there is no function for system at all. These are direct links of uh, concept of ideal final result to other, other <coughs> let's say, um, elements of trees. And uh, I think there are direct links, but there are indirect links that could be found almost everywhere in substance field analysis and in, uh, in functional modeling and other things. Uh, what are the bridges of uh, the bridges we could build from the ideal final result concept to uh, to tools that uh, have been used so far in the outside of trees? There are many. I would immediately name value engineering. I would immediately name a lean concept, lean manufacturing, or uh, lean design. I would immediately link it to design for manufacturing and assembly and part count. Uh, let me start from the very beginning. In, va in value engineering, there is a concept to, to measure, to compare different types of system by the uh, ratio of functionality over cost. So it is one-to-one -one correspondence to the ideality concept because if you have, uh, if the cost is zero, then the functional uh, within any functionality, the, the value is infinite. So it's the ideal system because there is no cost, but the function is insured. Although, um, Value engineering was mostly used for qualitative analysis of, of, of designs. Uh, Trees is pretty good at uh, changing the design, so it tells you what to do. So the concept of ideality is just the beginning of formulation, and then uh, it, it, Trees tells, uh, helps you to, to, to modify system in order to make it more and more ideal, not just to compare one system to another. Another concept is uh, lean. In, in Lean, it is believed that the system is good when it, it, it produces no wastes. And waste is treated a kind of white sense. So there are no wasting elements, the elements that waste your money, and there are no uh, uh, wasting processes, the process that uh, adds, uh, the processes that add nothing to the, to, the, to the value of the system. So that means that an ideal system would be perfectly lean completely lean system that would be would cost nothing while adding much or something at least to, to the value of the of the object or the process. I would also say that lean is even more let's say softer in, in definitions. It could be it, it, it has been implied so far mostly for, for the design of process or for management rather than for design of product. But uh, uh, spiritually it is there I would say. So lean is I would say idea final result is lean concept applied for 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 design of new product or, or new technology. And uh, the last but not the least would be design for manufacturing and assembly and it is closely related to part count concept. So it is believed that it is easier to manufacture a device if it has less parts. So we can some, sometimes just bluntly could count parts of systems. And if the system has less, fewer amount of parts, then the system is better. In a way, that's what ideal final result is uh, teaching us. So it says that, you know, killing one part of another system, doing trimming or just thinking of how to ensure the function without any parts, that, uh, then we would benefit all. So uh, in design of manufacturing and assembly, I would say it's a kind of design of manufacturing and assembly. It's a concept of, let's say, projecting of uh, ideal final result concept to something very specific. So you have a design and now you think how to manufacture it easily. So ideally, the simpler the design, the easier to manufacture. That were, there were the links of concept of ideal final result to other chapters of trees and to other concepts outside of trees. Conclusions. I would say when you forget everything about trees, please remember ideal final result thing because it's the strongest concept of trees, I would say, the most impressive concept. When you forget everything about ideal final result, please remember that just, just a saying, ideal system is no system but the function is insured or ideally the product appears itself, itself is a very important wo uh, word, where it is necessary and when it is necessary. It's a very nice tool that helps you to get rid of thinking inertia 
uh, to design uh, better, simpler things, and uh, to uh, actually to 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 have a, kind of a tool to formulate like some crazy, interesting, out of box ideas. So, if you ask me what ideal lecturer is, my answer would be like this: I just leave the chair because ideal lecturer is no lecturer, but the let's say teaching is insured. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>